little devices. Yeah, yeah, and I think uh, a lot of the evaluations have been made. The only evaluation left is see what they can do under the lights when when some live bolts are firing at them. So, um, you know, some of those sometimes you put those oars on to keep people happy. Sometimes it's for to try to out scheme people. But most of these are, are really our oars, and we're going to figure this thing out here this week, next week. Yeah, you know, Tyron, uh, you know, you always hear a lot about guys when you get here and all that kind of stuff. And whatever we heard about him is, you know, the, the slate was wiped clean and he's just put his nose to the grindstone and he's just went to work. And he's done what we've asked him to do and he's done a great job. Uh, he's a really good practice player. Uh, he, he tries to get the guys fired up. He's hustling around and I, lo I love his attitude. JoJo called uh, Trey Neal like a cheat sheet for those guys at safety. Has he been kind of everything you hope he would be in the three weeks or four weeks since he's been here? Yeah, I mean, you know, sometimes I, I guess kids, you know, they want to be with the coaches and, and hear it. But sometimes when you have a, a player that really knows what's going on, he maybe can relate to those guys in a different way. He can sit in the room with them without a lot of pressure on those kids and kind of teach them what's going on. And then out on the field, they know if they're out there and they don't exactly know what's going on, he's going to make the right call uh, just from being around so long in the system. So uh, he's done a great job, and I think those guys uh, respect him and he's fitting well. What can you say about Akron? I guess just you know, the first game, you never know quite what, what they're going to throw at you. But do you feel like you got a decent read on, on them from past film? Or yeah, I mean, you got you got a, a you know a year's work of, of film to look at, and w whether they do what they're what they've done or they change it up, um, I don't know. I know they got a, a really good quarterback that's going to run around and throw it. They got a really good receiver that can take the top off, and a uh, returning running back that's pretty good. The good thing is when you're playing a spread team, for us, there's not a whole lot people do that we haven't seen. Uh, so we may come out there and they might be totally different, but I feel like we'll be able to adjust fairly well just from seeing so many looks from our offense. Uh, yeah, we do a little bit. So uh, we talked about it as a staff and obviously Coach Frost and uh, some of the other guys. And there's two contributing factors right now. Um, number one, the oars and the ands and the oars you guys mentioned. Some of those battles aren't, aren't won yet, are still being fought. Um, so we didn't feel like handing out a black shirt to one of those guys that's an or or an and would be fair until we get a live evaluation. Um, the other thing we, we decided was the last time we took the field, and I say we because I signed up for this, I'm part of it. The last time we took the field was not a, a very great performance for the black shirt, so we don't feel like anybody deserves one yet until we see what they do in Memorial Stadium. No, we'll, we'll go with who deserves them. So it might be one, it might be 11. I doubt it'll be more than 11, um, but it could be anywhere in between. Are your, yeah, I think How do you feel about your corners right now? Can they play the way you want them to play so you can play the defense you want to play? Yeah, I, I mean, they're, they're, they're getting better every day. They're understanding what we're trying to get them to do. Um, is anybody there yet? No on our defense, we, we got a ways to go and we'll, we'll continue getting better and better and better and better throughout the year. Uh, but the corners have done a nice job. They've, they've took the coaching. Uh, they're trying to do what we want them to do. And I, I think they're going to have some more success. And with success breeds confidence. And with confidence, you know, they'll, they'll continue that work. And I'm excited to watch them kind of grow. Do you, do you, because of the, the number of snaps your defense is going to face, it's likely that Braxton Clark and Cam Taylor yeah, it's likely uh, there's going to be a lot of people playing yeah. on on Saturday. So uh, are they are they typical freshmen, or are they the, uh, beyond their years in terms of um, experience, or maturity, and talent? And yeah, I think every we've all been around 18 year old kids, and I think every 18 year old kid's a little different. Some guys are really mature. Some guys are really good players, but not as mature. Those guys. What I can say about those guys is, is they jumped in both feet in the deep water and started swimming and never looked back. And, and that's a good thing with, with young guys. Um, are they mature enough? Are they ready enough? Probably not, but sometimes baptism by fire isn't a bad deal either. So well, we're going to find out. Did you guys 
guy like Jojo Doman kind of come out of nowhere? Uh, I would say yes and no. Probably yes because he was injured and we didn't get to see him in spring. No because obviously he's a you know a highly rated recruit and people were excited about him and what he did on special teams when he was a young guy. Um, but very very pleasant surprise the way he's played just through camp up until now. So I think he's done a great job and he's going to help the team. What's he uh, bring you guys? In that position? Well, he, he brings a, a safety. You know that's number one. He's a physical safety. He brings a guy that can play on special teams. He also brings a guy that you can play in, in multiple positions against a spread outfit. He can play some linebacker. He can play some safety. He can play some outside linebacker. And he can do a lot of those jobs. And he's fairly football savvy, so he can handle a lot of those assignments. Last few days before an opener, like for you personally as a coach, is there a certain point where you just got to say the haze in the barn? Or how are you feeling in those like final days leading up to it? Uh, I think for me, the hay's really never in the barn. You know, the kids even say, Coach, you ready? And I would say, no. You know, when about five minutes before kickoff, I'll be ready. Um, now, does that mean we're installing more stuff? And no, I don't, I don't want to do that. I want these guys to play fast. But I think as a play caller, you're, you're never ready enough. You're watching more tape. You know, at night, you're watching film. You're trying to make sure your call sheet's right. You're trying to get your, you know the call sheet without looking at the call sheet. So, um, do I feel like our staff has got the kids ready so far? Yes. We have a little ways to go. Do I feel like the team will be ready? Yes. But for me personally, it's going to take me up until about kickoff. All right, guys. Thanks, Coach.